Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today the Houston Astros lose to the Boston Red Sox in extra innings, 7-5. to Tough loss for the Astros today as they blow a lead. The Astros were up 3-0 in the second inning. They also had a 4-2 to lead in the third inning, but then in the fifth inning, the Red Sox tied the ball game up. Then after the fifth inning, there would be no more runs scored um, in the game, you know, in, you know, in, in, in the nine innings. This game would go extras, and then that's where Adam Duvall hits his third home run of the series. He's hit a home run in every game of this series. First game of the series where the Astros won nine to four, he hit a home run. Um, he hit a home run that uh, was a was a uh, three run homer to start the ball game, and then yesterday he hit a home run. He had a solo home run, and now he hits a go-ahead home run in the tenth inning, a three-run shot. So, in this in this series, he has seven RBIs for two home runs. He's been on fire in this series for the Boston Red Sox. Let's go over the game. The Astros lose seven to five. Is the final score? Twelve hits for the Astros, and nine for the Red Sox. Zero errors in the ball game. Win goes to P V P P P Pivaveta. Um, he's nine and six on the year. He pitched two quarters of an inning, and that was in the tenth inning. Um, or wait, wait, that wasn't in the tenth inning. It was in the that was in well, the, that was for a part of the ninth inning um, because uh, Jansen Kenley Jansen pitched the first out of the ninth inning, and he got he left with an injury, got the first out, but then left with an injury, and then he came in and got the win. He's nine and six on the year. Uh, he pitched 0 point, 0 point, got two outs in the ninth, two strikeouts, one walk. Loss goes to Kendall Graveman. He really struggled giving up a home run. Well, he only gave up the home run, but besides that, he did give up two walks as well. He's 3-6 and six on the year now. Pitched the 10th inning, gave up one hit, two earned runs, one strikeout, two walks. Save goes to Win Win Winkowski, his third save of the season. He pitched the 10th inning, gave up three hits, though. All singles, two strikeouts, though, for him. Scoring summary. First inning, the Astros get started in the first inning. Tucker hits a sacrifice fly to center. Altuve scored. It's 1-0. to How about Martin Maldonado? He's been red hot in this series. Um, this was his third and fourth RBI of the series with a home run. Second inning, Martin Maldonado home run to left center, 385 feet for Maldonado. Um, and Pena scored. It's 3-0. to but then the third inning, Verdugo double to left. Ray Rahees scored. It's three to one. Then Tristan Casas single to center. Verdugo scored. Turner to third. It's two to three. But then how about Jose Abreu? Welcome back and welcome back to the lineup. Jose Abreu returning from the injured list in the third inning. Jose Abreu hits a double down the line to left. Bregman scored. Diaz to third. It's four to two. But then the fifth inning, Trevor Story single to center. Uh, uh, Turner would score Duvall to third. It's four to three. And then Abreu, who, who was actually a former Astro, grounded out to first. Duvall scored and Story to third. It's four four. Then the tenth inning, Duvall home run to left, three hundred seventy one feet. Davers scored. Casas scored. It's seven to four. And then the tenth inning, the Astros make a little bit of a rally, but are only able to score one run. They would get the bases loaded. With one out, but then um, Dubon would strike out and Corey Jokes would ground out. But Yanner Diaz did get an RBI single in the tenth inning to right. Tucker scored. McCormick to second. It's seven to five. Um, yeah, but I mean the Astros started to make a little bit of a rally. Chas McCormick hit a single. Then they had runners on the corners. Um, and then after Chas hit the hit the single, Yanner Diaz hit a single. Bases are loaded. Um, or sorry, Yanner Diaz hit a single, and it scores a run. Now there's runners on first and second. Then Jeremy Pena hits a single. There's base bases are loaded, uh, but the Astros couldn't do anything after that. After Jeremy Pena's single, with Dubon striking out, and um, with Dubon striking out, and Corey Jilks ending up uh, grounding out as well. 
Um, individual batters for the Astros today. Jose Altuve was one for three after an off day yesterday. In the first inning, he had a double to center. Seventh inning and in ninth inning, he had two walks. So not a bad day for Jose Altuve. Alex Bregman was one for four. First inning, had a single to left. Altuve to third. In the third inning, he had a walk. Um, Kyle Tucker was 0 for 4, hit that hat, hit the sacrifice fly to center. Altuve scored for the RBI, but Tucker struggled today. Another bad game for Kyle Tucker. He struck out three times, swinging in this ball game. Chas McCormick, a really solid game for Chas. Started off slow. First three at bats were strikeouts, but then two singles for Chas McCormick. Eighth inning single to right, tenth inning single to right as well. Tucker to third. Solid day for Chas McCormick. Yanner Diaz, have yourself a day. He had three singles today, third inning, single to center, Bregman to third, sixth inning, single to left, tenth inning, RBI single to right. Great day for Yanner Diaz, who played DH and catcher today. Jose Abreu was one for five in his first game back, had the RBI double to score Bregman, but that was it. Jeremy Pena was two for four, had a single to center in the second inning, and then he had the tenth inning single, and he also had a walk in the eighth, and that was it for Jeremy Pena today. Jake Myers was one for four today with a single to center, and that was it for Jake. Dubon would pinch hit for one at bat for Jake Myers, and he struck out swinging. Martin Maldonado was one for two. He had a home run that was 385 feet to give the Astros a 3-0 lead, and then in the seventh inning, he had a sacrifice to pitcher to get Jake Myers to second base in the seventh inning. John Singleton would pinch hit for Martin Maldonado in the ninth inning, and he flied out to left which was a decent hit ball. And then Corey Jolks would pinch hit for um, for John Singleton, which was Kendall Graveman at the time somehow. And Corey, Corey Jolks with the last at bat of the game grounded out, and the Astros lose. So tough game for the Astros today. Um, this was a game that if they won, if they if they won this ball game, they would have tied for first place, but they still have a chance to tie for first place. The Rangers have lost six straight games, and... They've lost six straight games, and they play the Twins tomorrow, and we play the Red Sox early. So we could, if the, if the Astros get the series win tomorrow, gets the Red Sox, and the Rangers start off a series against the the Twins with a loss, then possibly the Astro, then the Astros will will be tied for first place in the American League West, which is a great thing. But who knows if the if the Rangers after an off day. Maybe I don't think the Rangers will lose a seven straight ball game, but we could only hope. That's it for the video. Tough loss for the Astros today. That's it for the video, and hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. Go Astros.